afternoon here, and good day to you, good morning We're in Asia, Europe, good evening, India, Africa, just checked in, and bless good day to you as we share the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're having a great fight here, of course we are the victories, Satan tried to chop down some of our networks, but the love of the Lord Jesus Christ saying, Jesus, get thee behind us, and we are in the fight of fighting the fight of good faith, and welcome and good day to you. Again, uh, thank you for your prayers and support as my in beautiful anointed wife gets stronger and healing every day. She'll be back with Nuggets from Heaven tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And uh, we share the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. And again, as we speak to the world, some parts of the world are 16 hours ahead of us, 24 hours ahead of us. So as I am speaking to you, it's 8, 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, the west coast of right here in Los Angeles, California. So just to give you a geographical location here, and sh sharing the truth of the God's love, we're going to be speaking of the f continuing with a different type of faith from Mark 11:22, have faith in God, but what faith can do for your overall picture of your life, from the family to the, to the workplace to the new expression of the new you. So we're going to start with Mark chapter 10 for today as our foundation scripture. Mark chapter 10, as we move into this time right now, let's just grab a clean sheet of notebook paper. Let's, we'll, we'll be doing some tap dancing through the scripture. Let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we love you. We'll lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We love thee, O Lord, with the blessing of the Holy Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the loving truth that you have provided in our hearts today, in the minds of the clarity of the minds, the clarity of the hearts. We thank you, Lord, for this wisdom of truth as you pour down your new mercies upon us every day as we lift up our, our repentance and our prayers and our forgiveness unto you, O Lord. We thank you for the strength of the wisdom and discernment you bestowed upon us. As we pray to your blessing, we cry unto you that we want to know ever some more every day, stronger than we knew you yesterday. In Jesus' name. Amen. And again, you can get to know us if we want to know you at BrianChewitt.com, BrianChewitt.com. Let's get right into the Mark 11:22. Have faith in God. Yes, we should memorize that scripture without having to look it up, right? So, as Christians, we are privileged to be members of God's family. For the God is our Father in Heaven, with God is the Father of creation, our creator, the creator of creation, with Christ as our elder brother. With many fathers and mothers and sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, we have it all. Mark 10, our foundation scripture, 29 through 30. So Jesus answered and said, Assuredly I say to you, there is no one who has left a house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels, who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions, and, and in the age to come, eternal life. And in the age to come, eternal life. As leaders, we are to address our spouses as one mind, one love, one blessing from Christ. As Christ loved the church and gave himself for her, we are as husbands to love our wives and their own bodies, nourishing and cherishing them. Husbands are to leave mother and father, leaving parents to be joined to one's wife. Ephesians chapter 5, 25 through 29, husbands love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her that he might sanctify and cleanse her, and with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spots or wrinkle or, or any such thing, that she should be holy without blemish. So husbands also love their own wives as their own bodies. Who, he who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church just as the Lord does the church, not to provoke the children to wrath. That is, by unreasonable commands, by needless severity, by the manifestation of anger. 
Colossians chapter 3, verse 21. Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. To provide a spiritual training for their children. The home is your first place of your personal seminary to teach your children, yourselves, your spouse, what leadership is all about. Ephesians 6, verse 4. And you fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and the admonition of the Lord. Bringing them up in the training, discipline, the obedience. Let them know what the, the, your first offering of obedience is. Getting yourself, bringing your families to a faith-based, spirit-led church. Midweek Bible study, Sunday services with the saints. Yes, Lord. Yes. Guiding us into this truth and his love. In Jesus' name. To provide loving discipline as necessary. Even as our Heavenly Father disciplined His children, though it may be unpleasant at the moment. Hebrews chapter 12, 6 through 11. If you endure chastening, God deals with you as with sons. But for what son is there whom a father does not chasten? But if you are without chastening, of which all have become partakers, then you are illegitimate and not sons. Furthermore, we have had human fathers who corrected us. We paid them respect. Shall we not so much more readily be in subjection to the Father of spirits and live and live? For they indeed for a few days chasten us as seemed best to them, but he for our profit, that we may be partakers of, of his holiness. Now no chastening seems to be joyful in the present, but painful, nevertheless, after it yields the peaceable fruits of the righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Thank you, Jesus, for the blessing of the reading of this word. Job 12, verse 10. In whose hand is, is the life of everything, of every living thing, and the breath of all mankind? Breath of all mankind. Job chapter 12, verse 10. Saying in Job, verse, chapter 22, verse 21, my favorite verse that obviously I think a lot of you watching tonight do know. Acquaint thyself and be at peace. Acquaint thyself with him and be at peace. And all good shall come unto thee. If we have anybody here that is not born again, You've backslid. Uh, I've done that a few times. Had to be recommitted. There's nothing wrong with that. We Re recommitted with Christ. Let me give you something. As the service continues to go, you'll hear your predestined goal. Thine is a kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Thine is a kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. You have been given the power of the kingdom of God, not just for a week, not just, not just for the length of a basketball game or a baseball game. <clears throat> Eternity. Eternity. You don't have to worry about going extra innings or getting supper ready, dinner ready. Eternity by praising and worshiping God. A non-stop rock and roll gospel concert except for one half hour. Somebody here can tell me what that one half hour is. And we come into God's love, God's truth, God's beauty that he gives to us right now in Jesus' name. The duties of our spouses to love their children which ought to be natural, yet sin can lead to a lack of proper affection. Romans chapter 1 verse 31. Undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful. Yet, sink, yet to manage the household. In Titus chapter 2, verse 5, to be discreet, chaste, homemakers, good, obedient to their husbands, that the word of God may not be blasphemed. The woman, woman may also engage in activities outside the home. It's perfectly fine to. My wife and I recommend that young couples getting to know each other have their own separate hobbies. One is not clinging to the other and connected or married already at the hip. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 10 through, let's go through 10 through 11. Who can find a virtuous wife? 
for her worth is far above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusts her so that so he will have no lack of gain. And she does him good and not evil all the days of her life. I have a wife that's precious to me more than all the rubies in the world. And she is helps me every day ironing sharpened irons and she is getting healed and well. We both were discharged from the hospitals with two bruised heels and those bruises came from stomping on the head of Satan. I'll never get tired of sharing that and doing that. And brethren, we don't have to have a loved one to be rushed into the emergency room with a stroke like I had. We can stomp on the head of Satan as I am doing now, giving this broadcast as my wife is in the other room monitoring the broadcast. She is stomping on his head, snaking a couple scorpions and snakes try to show up. They're as good as gone. In Jesus' name. But to utilize the advantage, if we are single, to utilize that advantage and go apart like Paul did. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 32. But I want you to be without care. He who is unmarried carries with the things of the Lord. Now he may please the Lord, but he who is married cares about the things of the world, how he may please his wife. Yet we must go about our lives whether we're mar as we are married to please God, not to put our wife, our needs, First, go, God, i got to give you time out. Can you go in the other room? Hang on, I'll be right with you. No, it doesn't work that way. I've known people that think that work that way, and guess what? You don't see them around much, do you? Putting the Lord before the family. Having God lead you into fighting the fight of good faith. And let God take care of all the rest. Let God take care of all the worries in your life, your heart. Because God knows the secrets of your heart. God knows what you need before you ask. But you must, you have not because you ask not. So in this new heart that the Surgeon General of Heaven, by God, His name, has given you, and He's rooted the old stony edges of the old heart, gave you that new heart. Gave you that new heart. Gave you the clarity of the mind. Nobody recognizes anymore. You come into your old place where you used to live like a piece of scripture you, you may have been a lunatic you may have been crazy now you're completely got your act together in the name of Jesus and more people are afraid of you now than they were when you were out of your mind it comes into this peacefulness of the Lord Jesus Christ it comes to the peacefulness of this truth it comes into the expressions of God's own love in Jesus' precious name. We sing of the Lord's as truth. We sing of, of bringing into <clears throat> God's love, God's being, <clears throat> God's expression right now. <clears throat> Dear Jesus, we love you. We'll lay our hearts upon you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We sing of the glory of you, O Lord. We sing of the glory of this time forevermore. Guidance into your substance of all truth. Guide us into, into your love, your moments, your expressions. For the master's name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, how does this all begin? Well, like in most track meets that I've once performed in, we need to have a starting point. We just can't get to the finish line. We have to have a point of contact. That point of contact is lifting yourself off your church pew, lifting yourself off your church chair, your, your office chair, your lunch break, and fall to your knees. Ask God. Lord, take us, love us for yours. We turn our lives over to you, O oh God. Let us all focus on our reality of our redemption with God because we are redeemed. Not in the process of being redeemed, not when I grow up I want to be redeemed right after I become a baseball player. No. I am redeemed. You are redeemed. God's going to bring us over many a river of changes, more than one in your life. 
more than two. That's definitely a guarantee. But we must turn to God. We must be the peacemakers and change makers of this world. So, if you don't know Christ, our experienced Christian viewers who come to us pretty much every broadcast, we ask them to bring two or three unsaved friends to these broadcasts so you may share in the inheritance of God's loving depth of eternity. Depth that you could never touch or feel or taste, but you know it's there because it's laying in, in your heart. The endless well of salvation is now the depth of your heart. The mirror image of the new heart is yours is the empty tomb right now. Repeat this after me, please. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place paying the penalties for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Savior and Lord. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life, fill me, and take control. I ask you to, to make me the kind of man that you have always wanted me to, be, to me to be, the individual that you've always wanted me to be. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing us forward. Thank you a lot for bringing us here. That's my wife praising your name in the background. I am lifting your name up before the throne of God, but most important, the angels of heaven, right before God himself, are praising your name for coming forward and turning your life over to Christ. In precious name. The precious name that there is no other name but Jesus. There is no other name that can match the strength and the love and the, and the truth of what Jesus says to us every day. His love. The baptism of his blood upon us from Calvary. The baptism of the strength of the unity of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ. And why is this? Matthew 7, 7. Ask, seek, and knock. For God is good, God is wise, God is able. For that is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Why? Because we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. Faith is a substance of things hoped for. From Hebrews 11.1, 1, the evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen in Jesus' precious name. Now, our first offering is the offering of, of obedience to get ourselves into a faith-based, spirit-led church like we are here today. Midweek Bible studies, Sunday service of the saints, fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. That's why we encourage you not to use your iPad as your own type, own one-on-one -on -one thing. We encourage you to have a coffee room of people watching us. In Jesus' name, we invite we. If you, once you come to our website, BrianChewitt.com, BrianChewitt.com, we ask you really to get to know us, and, and we want to know you. See that we have the mission fields available for you. We have evangelical teams. We have our mission teams, our medical teams, our translation teams. The beautiful truth of the whole Lord Jesus Christ guides us into the prosperity of the unity of the Holy Spirit to be one one mind and one judgment of Christ. Going into this time, going into this fruitful field, going into this expression of God's love, God's truth, God's purpose, to sing of the glory of the Lord, to sing of His strength and His unity, of His might, to sing this right now, for in the Master's name of Jesus, we are inviting you to become a financial partner to our ministry. As you plant this seed into this ministry, Jesus himself will show you the vision of what your harvest is looking like and how long you may have to wait. Guess what? You don't have to wait for months from now for the next harvest. Your harvest is now. Your harvest is now. As you plant your seed into this financial ministry, I'm reading from, expressing from John chapter 4, verse 35. John chapter 4, verse 35. 
then to those who need to hear what's my return on investment brother Bryant let me tell you your harvest is now you got everything all nine cylinders working for you from Rome Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 and 23 all nine working together at the same time you got yourself into a church. You got yourself into Bible studies. You got yourself into fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. You have received those who wish to teach you the Word of God. The pastors, the bishops, the evangelists, the teachers, the prophets. You got to have a very good reason besides your own arrogance why you don't want to receive these teachers, these preachers, these that want to help you even after combined 40 years of ministry myself 20 my wife 20 we are still being fed because we want to have God bring us to our, that next level to go deeper into our teachings and our strength to go into glory to the glory of the Lord Jesus right now in the matchless name of Jesus right now as you plant your seed into this ministry the manifestation. The vision goes to the manifestation. The manifestation comes from God. It makes it all happen for you. The living word of God is always pregnant, revealing the manifestation of God's glory. Then the windows of heaven, like in Malachi chapter 3, will come open up, pour down blessings upon you. For in the master's name of Jesus, you are blessed. And the blessings don't end with this one offering. They continue, continue, and continue. In Jesus' name. We sing of this truth. We sing of his love. We sing of the excellency of the knowledge of what God wants for each and every one of us. To have faith from the family, to faith from the workplace, faith all around us without just saving, well, this is my private sin time. I've heard a lot in my life that I'm sharing with you, with you brothers and sisters, but people have actually, and you know, I do the church thing, I do the, you know, Bible study thing, I look good, but this is my sin time, come on, but God, you can fool man, you can't fool God, because God, God's around you 24 hours, 7 days a week, the nuclear fam family in today's world can, today's world can be a wonderful blessing, intended by God to consist of husbands and wife who love, respect one another, parents who, who love and discipline their children, children who honor and obey their parents, as Christians, our families and duties are clear, whether as husbands or wives, whether as parents or children, whether as married or single. May our faith in Christ lead us to be the heat of the best spouses and parents, the best children and singles, single adults as you possibly can. I started out my life forgotten. I had my first wife next to me, who, a young lady who would be my first wife. We had our daughter. But God, but God, but God brought us a benefactor. But God introduced us to Jesus Christ. But God gave us the anointment of his truth, the anointing of his blessing, to go beyond one river of change into the arms of Christ after one task to another to guide us to what he has placed on my shoulders and my heart and my mind to present to the world, to produce our cause as a family of Christ, to enlarge the tent of our territories as, as Isaiah has expressed to us all. We move into the liberty of the Lord Jesus Christ to be a one mind and one judgment of Christ. We sing of the holy truth. We sing of this excellency of God's loving moment God's truthfulness, God's love is for you. Have, want, have faith in God. Have faith in God. Bring into the unity of the Holy Spirit to be a one mind and one judgment of Christ. Sing of the Lord, the excellency of his name. Sing unto the truth of his holiness, blessing, his guidance, into the richness of the grace to wear the robe of peace, perfection, righteousness yes in Jesus name not for our glory but for the glory of God let's go before the throne of God and pray dear Jesus we love you 
who lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we breathe and live for this, from the secrets of our heart. We lift up this day of our lifting up our prayers, repentance, and our forgiveness unto you, Lord, as you pour your new mercies upon us every day. We thank you for the strength of the wisdom and discernment that you have bestowed upon our lives. But prior to that, we say that we want to know you ever so more every day, stronger than we knew you yesterday. So we live our life fully blessed. And for the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Brothers and sisters, that does conclude our afternoon midday broadcast right here from Los Angeles, California. We are Morning Star Communication Network, MCM Ministries. You can make your donations or, or by clicking on the contact link and send us to the physical address right over our website or just click on the donation link and we'll, you'll, you'll get a receipt sent right out to your email address and then you'll get one right after the first of the year to a hard check or donation link. Again, we are BrianTewitt.com, BrianTewitt.com. And we thank you on behalf of my anointed, beautiful wife and yours truly, Brian Tewitt, the man. We thank you for your time. Until next time, do see you up to date with all of our news and informations of our exciting crusades coming to your part of the world. Again, at BrianTewitt.com, BrianTewitt.com. To visit our, our online store and our prayer request prayers will be let, read to you this evening at 6 p.m. Again, we walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, audios. Good day for the people.